Firstly, by market forces into one shaped by principles of ecology. Onto the concept of environmentally sustainable development. Evolved a quarter century ago, not one country has a strategy to build an eco economy to restore carbon balances, to stabilize population and water tables, and to conserve its forest, forest soils, and diversity of plant and animal life. Nevertheless, glimpses of the eco economy are clearly visible in some countries. For example, 31 countries in Europe plus Japan have sub stabilized their population <coughs> size satisfying one of the most basic conditions of an eco-economy Europe has stabilized its population within its food producing capacity <coughs> leaving it with an exportable surplus of grain to help fill the deficits in the developing countries furthermore China, the world's most populous country now, has lower fertility than the U.S. and is moving towards population stability. Among countries, Denmark is the eco-economy leader. It has stabilized its population, banned the construction of coal-fired power plants, banned the use of the non refillable beverage containers, and is now getting 50 percent of its energy from wind in addition it has restructured its transport network now 32 percent of all trips in Copenhagen are on bicycle other countries have also achieved achieved specific goals a reforestation program in south korea begun more than a generation ago has blend has blanketed the country's hills and mountains with trees. Costa Rica has a plan to shift entirely to renewable energy by 2005. <coughs> Iceland, working with a consortium of operation led by Shell and Daimler Chrysler, plans to be the world's first hydrogen powered economy. So we can see pieces of the eco economy emerging but systemic change requires a fundamental shift in market signals signal that respect the principles of economic sustainability unless we are prepared to shift access from income to environmentally destructive activities such as carbon emissions and the wasteful use of water. We will not succeed in building an eco economy. Such an eco economy will affect every facet of our lives. It will alter how we light our homes, what we eat, what we where we live, how we use. What is your time and how many children we have? It will give us a world where we are part of nature instead of being estranged from it. Restoring the economy, restructuring the economy, an economy that is in a sync with it is is in step which matches the arts ecosystem will contrast profoundly with the pollution, destructive and ultimately self destructing economy of today, the fossil fuel based automobile centered the throw, throw away economy among the key economic sectors energy material and food. The most profound changes will be in energy and material materials. It is difficult to imagine a more fundamental sector restructuring. Then in the energy sector, as it shifts from oil, coal and natural gas to wind, solar cells and geothermal energy. With materials, the change is not so much in the material used as in the structure of the sectoral itself as it shifts from the lineal linear economic model where materials go from mine or for forest to the landfill to the reuse recycle model in the closed <coughs> sorry in this closed loop system which animates 
In third, recycling industries will largely replace extraction industries. In the food sector, big changes are not in structure, but in the way the sector is managed. The challenges here is to be better manage natural capital to stabilize aquifers by increasing water productivity and to conserve topsoil by altering agricultural practices and above all else. It means sustaining the rise in land productivity in order to avoid clearing more forest for for food production. No sector of the global economy will be untouched by the environmental revolution. In the new economy, some companies will be winners and some will be losers. Those who anticipated the emerging economy, eco-economic plan for it will be winners. Those who cling to the past risk becoming part of it. Edited Extract from Save the Planet and Be Prosper by Lester Brown, Ecologist Money Man, Monod. More detailed approaches to academic reading will be found in Eric H. Grayling, Beverly Hall's Study Reading, 2004, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press.